So don't make me raise my wrath For I'm not like all the rest Oh, Jarvis, go my best I'm a-shavin' and a I'm scrubbing and rubbing and a-singing on my back, reclining while the sun is shining. It's so wonderful to be alive. I'm a dreaming and a scheming while I'm rubbing and scrubbing such a wing. Feel like dancing, hearts are prancing because I'm going to town. We're gonna have so much fun. We'll just put old gloom on the run. Get your duds on, load your gun. And they'll show you how it's done. I'm just taking to be taken. The old trail that leads to tumbleweeds of bacon. Oh, my heart is yearning and my feet are burning to the rhythm of this cowboy's gun. I'm just hoping I'll be roping some that nice gallon wine and dine until we're choking. While I'm singing, feet keep swinging. Because I'm going to town We're rolling Get the rolling Over hills and prairie trails will soon be stolen Life is just a bubble Got no time for trouble There ain't nothing gonna keep us down Day is breaking Saddle waiting Soon the trail that leads to town will both be taken all through shaving and bathing, so let's hit the trail for town. You know, Tex, this chasing around the country, trying to peddle a few broken down nags ain't no business for a couple of cow hens. Hank, you're always complaining. Cheer up. Tonight we're going to put up in style. The best hotel in Rawhide. Yeah, and sleep between those dad blame sheep. If you ain't the limit, always complaining. Howdy, gents. I'm in trouble, and it ain't my fault. My horse is played out, and I got to get out of here quick. If you got one, you can trade me for mine. Well, uh... If you're really in trouble, man, it'd be pretty much of a no account if you didn't lend a hand. <laughs> we ain't got much to choose from, but you can take your pick. I don't know when I'll be able to repay you, but what's that old saying, bread cast upon the water and coming back to you, you know? Yeah. That's from the Bible. He must have headed for the river. Come on. Get your hands up and stand right where you are. Well, Tombstone, thought we'd lost your trail, eh? You're making a mistake. My name ain't Tombstone. Not yet. You can't get away with that on me. You had this other fellow out here with fresh horses and grub for your getaway. Wrong again. Well, you ain't denying this is a horse you've been riding, are you? Some of that bread on the water he spoke about coming back already. Now, that ain't my horse. I just swapped with a fella. I guess it's this man Tombstone you're after. You expect me to believe that? Now, let's waste no more time. Tombstone, I arrest you for the attempted murder of James Clark and for plotting the jail delivery of your gang of horse thieves that I hold in the Rawhide Jail. We'll soon settle your thieving ways, Tombstone. Reach high. 
Well, get on your horses. I tell you, Sheriff, you've got the wrong man. That description fits anybody. Yes, and it fits you. I've sent for James Clark, the man you had to kill. He'll identify you all right. What's up, Clark? Trouble? Maybe. They've caught Tombstone. Duke, be ready to shoot if he talks. James Clark is one of our best citizens. It's the rope for you and your gang, Tombstone, and I ain't guessing. You sent for me, Sheriff? Yes. Now, Mr. Clark, will you please identify this man as the Tombstone Kid? Why, <laughs> I've never seen this man before. He is not the Tombstone Kid. Well, what about this other fellow? No, I've never seen him either. Well, I'm sorry I made a mistake, but seeing you with that horse... Uh, that's all right, Sheriff. Oh, uh, what's your business, Mr... Uh... Tex Randall. Just at the present time, I, I find horse trading most interesting. Horse trading, eh? Well, I'd like to have a talk with you. Drop into my office after you locate. Thank you, sir. I'll be glad to. See you later, Sheriff. And if you get this tombstone kid, just let me know. I'll get him. Don't worry. Who is this Mr. Clark, Sheriff? Oh, he's been here about a year. Plenty rich. Runs the Lucky Dollar Saloon. Came here from the Sageland country. Also trades in horses. Sageland, huh? Now, what's his row with the, with the Tombstone Kid? Well, for some reason, Tombstone tried to kill Clark. The gang rustled all the horses around here. But I caught him. I got them all locked up. I see. All but the Tombstone Kid. <laughs> yes, and I'll get him, too. Well, Sheriff, we'll be seeing you later. Good luck to you, sir. Well, I'm sorry this thing happened. Oh, that's all right. Forget it, Sheriff. Forget it. You go take care of the horses. I'm going to call on Clark and see what he wants. Something funny going on here, Hank. Yeah, for a minute, it looked like the laugh was on us. <laughs> <laughs>
What did you have, stranger? Hey, could you tell me where I could find Mr. Clark? You'll find him in the office, over there. Thanks. Hello, Bill. How are you? Bye, guys. See who that is. Oh, hello, Randall. Come in. Sit down. Thank you, sir. You know, I was interested when you told me that you were in the horse trading game. Thought perhaps we might make a deal together. Oh, I haven't anything that would interest you, Mr. Clark. You just got a few heads. We'll make a deal somehow, I'm sure. And I'm afraid not. You see, me and my partner, we're just about broke. Well, let's not talk about that now. I want you to take a look at my horses. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it's no use. Even if I liked them, I couldn't buy them. Well, at least you might do me the favor and go and look at my horses. Well, yes, I... I guess I owe you that much courtesy for getting me out of the jam. Sure, I'll look at them. Where are they? Take the south road out of town, then follow the riverbed to the pasture. Good. I'll leave right now. Fine. And, uh, you understand, though, that I'm broke. Perhaps we'll take care of that. I don't seem to get your play, Clark. What is it? It should be clear. For the past two weeks, we've been trying to move a band of stolen horses and haven't been able to get away with it. You know what it would mean to me if I were caught with stolen stock? Well, where does this bird figure in? He's going to move that herd across the border for us. Yeah, but how? I'll attend to the details. You ride out to the pasture and tell the boys to let him look the band over. All right. You're supposed to be a bad hombre, and I'm the sheriff. Now, you go over on them rocks. Now, when you come for me, I'm gonna shoot you, see? And you play dead! All right, outlaw! Come on! Don't make a move, Andre. You better put on that gun there, stranger. You look like a pretty desperate character to me. This is a clear case of murder. I reckon I better take you into town and turn you over to the sheriff. You ain't taking me nowhere, Sombre. As it happens, I'm the sheriff of this here county. The sheriff? Yeah. For all I know, you might be the Tombstone Kid, and I ought to be taking you in. Get him up, Ombre. Well... Guess you got the drop on me, Sheriff. Uh, Billy, what's the meaning of this? 
I've just captured the Tombstone Kid. I'm taking him in. Tombstone Kid? Well, uh, I'm afraid the sheriff's mistaken, ma'am. My name is Tex Randall. Oh, I see. I'm Jean Reed, and this is my brother Billy. Billy put that gun down. Oh, gee whiz, sis. Now, son, you've got what it takes to make a good sheriff. I reckon you'll be one someday. Did you hear that, sis? You know, I'm glad you happened along. Maybe you can straighten me out on a few things. Why, certainly, I can. You see, when I first rode into this country, the sheriff arrested me for a rustler. Then when Billy here showed his guns, I, I was beginning to wonder what kind of a country I was in. You're new around here, aren't you? Yes, I'm just drifted in. Strangers aren't very welcome here until they prove themselves. Well, you're all right, Tex. You can come up to our house anytime. Can he, sis? Why, of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I, I've got to be getting back to town, but I hope I see you again, Sheriff. That'll be swell, Tex. You too, Miss Reed. Help. Hold on. Bye, Tex. Gee, sis, he's a real fellow, ain't he? Yes. He's still a stranger, Billy. But Mr. Reed, my offer for your land is generous, to say the least. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark, but we'll have to settle this once and for all. I have definitely made up my mind not to sell. Someday the railroad's going to want that canyon for a cutoff. And unless the owner guards it day and night, it immediately becomes a rustler's paradise. I have no use for rustlers. Oh, come now, Mr. Reed. You're being obstinate. The railroad may never go through there. And I'm sure we've read the country of horse thieves. I'll raise the offer a thousand. Nothing doing, Clark. I'm going to keep it. And shoot the first man that shows up there. Good day. Now how are we going to move the herd? That's where this Tex Randall comes in. <laughs> Hello, Hank. I thought you'd never get back. But well, what's up? Got us a job, playing and singing in the Lucky Dollar. We start tonight. Well, that's good, Hey, Come on. <laughs> us a song. All right, all right. <laughs> That's what we're here for. <laughs> what are you going to sing, Tex? I think we'll give them Blood on the Saddle. Oh, now, nah, Tex, you know that song always upsets me. There you go. Complaining again. Blood all around. 
Well, Randall. Hello, Mr. Clark. Say, uh, I sure did like to look through your horses today. On your horse. That's what I want to talk to you about. Well, I, I'm still broke, so there's no chance of making a deal. I don't know about that. You ever try your luck at the tables? <laughs> no, sir. I, I never was much a hand at gambling. You know, I've got an idea that you might be lucky. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stake you. If you win, you buy my horse. If you lose, we're even. Well, I could... Go ahead, Tex. We ain't got nothing to lose. Well, I... I don't quite figure your generosity, Mr. Clark. That's all right. This might lead to a profitable partnership if you're in a position to handle my horse deals. Oh, this is... Come on. A stack of chips. And now, folks, we'll play you one of our own numbers. Texas Washboard Rag. <laughs> Got a gag that they call the washboard rag. They dance all through the night till early morn. Now they take that old Texas washboard rag. It's not a game of hiding nor a tag. You face your partner with a grin. Circle back and then come in. Turn up the bar to the boat. Do you give it to do you 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 your fury's gone from drinking that old nasty corn. Then you lose the old Texas rag. Again, place your bets, folks. If you win this one, let's quit. Well, this is too good to be true. Your man wins again. For the love of Mike, let's get out of here. I was lucky. Thanks to you for pulling me out of the game when I had enough money to make the deal. Thanks to you for putting me in the game. That's all right, Randall. Now, uh, uh, just to make it all in good business, I wonder if you'd mind uh, signing this uh, bill of sale I drew up. I know. Not at all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, Hank, I guess we better pick up a bunch of horses and be on our way. I hear the market's good over the line. Get the boys together and hold them just across the line. When Randall shows up, get those horses back. What about that bill of sale you just signed? Duke's taking care of that. Now on your way and hold the boys ready. Real friendly air that you'll find in that one. 
one place alone. So I'm aiming to start, gonna follow my heart. I'm a hidden the trail for home. There's a lonesome old pal waiting in the corral. So I'm hitting the trail for home. There's a romance of yours that I'll kindle once more. So I'm hitting the trail for home. There's a head bowed and gray. She's continued to pray since the day I first started to roam. Miss Reed. Wonder what she wants. Thank you. Stay here and look after the horse. I'm sorry, but I had to stop you. Uh, stop me, but uh, what for? Dad won't let anyone use that shortcut through the canyon. The last few days has put extra guards there. Why they shoot you on sight? That's why I stopped you. I saw you moving your horses. Yeah, but surely, surely your dad will let me through when he finds out that I'm not a horse thief. You can try. He's not so hot-tempered once you know him. I'll take you over the ranch. Fine. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. I see you didn't forget my name. No, no, I... I have a pretty good memory. <laughs> I'd like very much if you have supper with us. Billy will be so glad to see you. See, that, that's fine. Fine, Jean, but... Uh, got a friend down there with my horses, and I... Well, we'll ride over and invite him, too. Come on. All right. You made a big hit with Dad. I can tell he likes you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I like him, too. As a matter of fact, I... I kind of like the whole family. Isn't the moon beautiful? The stars are so soft. Tex, don't listen to her. Come on in and listen to me sing. Well, I... I sure would like to, Sheriff, but, uh... Well, I guess we might as well. Well, that's the way things go, you know. <laughs> Howdy, man. Hello, Hello Sheriff. Sheriff. How'd you like to do me a little favor? Swell. Do uh, you know that Rip Snorton Sheriff song? Yes, sir. Well, how about playing that for me? You betcha. <laughs> oh, I'm a rip and snorting sheriff from the wild and woolly west. I'm a root and shooting hombre with a star upon my vest. My guns are filled with prizes. As they swing close by my side, you can hear my song arising as the hills and trails I ride. When the outlaws hear me coming, they tail it far and wide, cause they know I'm always gunning for their sneak and fainty hides. There's a shadow in the moonlight, there's a wide I 
beat this country clean. I'm the toughest, roughest hombre that the West has ever seen. I'm here for law and order, and I'm always on the prowl, so the bad men keep their distance for each night's my night. Hey, that was a humdinger, Sheriff. <laughs> if I have a turn outlaw, I'm sure gonna steer clear of this county. <laughs> Tex, I'd like to talk a little business with you. Certainly. You'll excuse me? Of course. Come right into my den here. This is my hideaway when it gets too noisy. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you, sir. After inspecting your band of horses, I've got an idea we can both make a little money. How's that, Mr. Reed? Well, your stock is thin and needs a long rest and good grazing. And it's a hard trip to market. Well, uh, what do you got in mind, Mr. Reed? Well, I'm in no hurry to market my horses. They're as solid as they'll ever get. Now, if we could strike a trade, you'd have a better stock to market and I could fatten your present band. And we both come out ahead. <laughs> it's all right with me. Sounds like a mighty good plan. It's a deal, then. Well, they're on the move. I had my boys get them started for you, Tex. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. Sure nice to meet you, and I, I hope we both profit by our deal. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Tex. Good luck. And goodbye, Jean. Goodbye. So long, Tex. See you when you get back. Goodbye, Sheriff. So long, Hank. So long, Sheriff. That's what he's done, all right. Traded horses with Reed. We better tell Clark. Randall traded horses with Dad Reed. Fine. That puts Reed right where I want him. Duke. You and Monty get that band at Randall's and meet me at Gopher Pass. Right, right. Sheriff, yeah. a band of horses that I bought recently have been stolen. If you'll get your deputy and follow me, I'll take you to the thief. You bet I will, Mr. Clark. Good morning, Miss Reed. Is your father in? Why, yes. Oh, Dad! Hello there, Sheriff. Good morning, Reed. Howdy, Clark. How are you? Reed, whose horses are those in your meadow? Mine. Why? That's all I wanted to know. Those horses were stolen from me. Sheriff, I demand that you arrest Reed for the theft. But I can prove that I traded fair with a fellow named Randall. Oh, yeah? Well, you two work mighty slick. Randall sold me those horses. Reed, on the face of the evidence, I'll have to arrest you. Oh, Dad! Take it easy, Jean. I'm sure this is some kind of a frame-up. You find that fellow Tex and bring him back here. All right. All right, Sheriff. Let's go.
You gather up the dishes, Hank. I'm going to ride on ahead and see if we can find a place to camp for tonight. All right, Hank. Clark said to drive them to Gopher Pass. Marty, you and Pete take care of the small bunch. We'll get the others on the flat. But look out for that pal of his. He's liable to start trouble. I'll handle him pronto. My head. Yeah. Now don't worry about it, Hank. It's only a crease. What brings you here, Jean? You horse thief. What do you mean? You tricked my father and cheated him out of his band of horses. Yeah, Clark had him thrown in jail for stealing the horses you traded in. Yeah, but Clark gave me a bill of sale to that stock. And somebody took it from a saddlebag. I don't believe there ever was a bill of sale. You stole our horses, and now you're letting my father take the blame for it. Aw, oh, sis, Tex couldn't do nothing wrong. Keep quiet, Billy. I don't suppose it'll do any good to appeal to your sense of decency. In fact, I doubt if you have any. But if you have, you'll certainly return our horses. Give yourself up to the sheriff. But I haven't got the horses, Jean. And giving myself up to the sheriff surely won't get them back. I've got to go after them. And you give me 48 hours. And if I can't return them by then, I'll give myself up. You mean you want 48 hours to get out of the country? And I didn't think it would do any good to talk to you. But if I were a man, I'd certainly take you into the sheriff. Don't worry about me, Tex. Go get them horses back. Well, are you sure you're going to be all right, Hank? Sure, Tex. I'll see you in town. Get down in the tunnel and bring up that tin box. You know, the one with the papers in it. Come up, Clark.
Keep them high. What's the meaning of this, Randall? Nice little game you tried to work, Clark. We're going to town, you and me. Why, what's wrong? Well, you, Sargon, come on. Study, Clark. I was enjoying things until your pal here butted in. I know if I waited long enough, you'd come here. Before I pay this mangy coyote off, what does he owe you? A new bill of sale to abandon the horses, he told me. And a signed confession clearing Dad Reed. Start right in it, Clark. This is one man you ain't cheating. Like you did me. Randall and the Tombstone Kid are clacking a shack up the canyon. Now's your chance to get him. Killing Clark's not going to do you any good. You've got to let the law take its course. What we got to do is to turn Clark over to the sheriff. That'll clear your men and clear me. I reckon you're right, Randall. Whatever you say. I'm going in there after him, Shorty. You stay here and keep your eyes open. We've got to get out of here, Tombstone. I got an idea. Come on. I don't know where this leads to, but I think it'll take us out of here. They won't get far. Come on.
use trailing them now. We'll go back into town and round up a posse and comb these hills until we get them. Tell me, Tombstone, what's your trouble with Clark? He pulled the same trick on me like he did on you and made me and my men outlaws. What's your next move, Tex? Well, in that case, we're going to town. You can't do that. We'd be shot on sight. Just the same, we're going. There isn't a man in town that'll join the posse. Then we'll go alone. We've got to get out of here. Things didn't work the way I figured. Duke, you and Monty get the others, and we'll get that band of horses across the border quick. Right. Shorty, some loads. No need of any gun, please, Sheriff. Just want to talk to you and clear things up. Tombstone, give the Sheriff that uh, confession of Clark's. Now, that confession clears Dad Reed and me. But I thought Clark... Clark is the man that's responsible for all your horse stealing. Tombstone here and his boys, they were just... They just got a raw deal. Clark and his men are headed out of town. It looks like trouble. Hey, Deputy, go and get a doctor. It's all right, Sheriff. Step into the office. It's going to be all right. Sit right here, sir. So I could only get a posse. He's got the best posse in the West under lock and key. And what a posse. How about it, Sheriff? But they're still prisoners. I can't. Yeah, but they're innocent. It's your only chance, Sheriff. For the keys. Sheriff, debitize us. Raise your right hands and repeat after me. I do hereby solemnly swear. I, I do hereby solemnly swear. To uphold the laws of this sovereign state. To uphold, to uphold the laws of this sovereign state. state. To enforce the ordinances of the county of Pecos. To enforce the ordinances of the county of Pecos. We swayed the beat of the horse's feet as we merrily ride along. A band of highwaymen coming out of the dawn. The skies are clear, we have no fear as we boldly carry on. We follow the trail of the renegade and sing a vagabond song. We'll sing, sing, sing of a life that's free, like the pirates that sail the sea. We'll ride, ride, ride to the wind and rain Like the redskins that rode the plains We'll leave our troubles all behind With not a worry on our mind We care not where our tail may wind Or what tomorrow brings We'll fight, fight, fight as we gallop it on
A tombstone? I guess that bread on the water you was talking about has come back. That makes us even for what you've done for me and my men. Well, anyway, everything worked out all right. <laughs> now, Tex, if you consider a partnership, I'm sure we'd make a go of it. Well, thank you, Mr. Reed, thank you, but uh, I think I have some good news for you, too. See, I'm not in the horse trading business. Uh, the Southland Railroad Company sent me here to make a deal for your land. They want your canyon for a cutoff. I knew it. I knew it would happen someday. Well, Tombstone, you and your men are all in the clear and free to go now. You know, this thing of being on the side of law and order is all right, Sheriff. And we're for staying right here with you. But, but I don't need you now, and we haven't the fun. That's all right, Sheriff. We'll find work for him on the railroad. Hey, Mr. Reed? Right. Howdy, Miss Jean. I didn't think you'd ever speak to me again, Tex, after the things I said to you. Oh, that's all right. You had reason to suspect me. Well, I suppose you'll be leaving us now. No, no, I, I've, uh, I've decided to stay around for a while. You see, uh, I've taken a great liking to this part of the country. Well, I think I'll ride into town. Would you like to come along with me? Sure. I'm a hitting the trail for home. There's a lonesome old pal waiting in the corral. So I'm hitting the trail for home. There's a romance of yours that I'll kindle once more. So I'm hitting the trail. Head bowed and gray, she's continued to pray since the day I first started to roam. And when I reach my goal, there'll be peace in my soul, cause I'm hitting the trail. 